Alvarez is generally thought of as the top prospect in the system. He's a 20-year-old catcher. You know, it might be tough to have a 20-year-old catcher catching uh, Scherzer and presumably DeGrom when he's back and, and that whole veteran staff of yours. But um, could Alvarez potentially be that DH? So with respect to Alvarez, you know, he was just moved to AAA. Um, he's only played two or three games. Uh, he's on his way to the Futures game. Um, but in those two or three games, he's, you know, he's, he's getting his feet wet. You know, he's, he's only had 15 or 16 plate appearances, a couple of hits. Um, <clears throat> uh, he has been shown some discipline at the plate. But in order for Alvarez to be considered, we'd have to see sustained performance over some period of time. And right, you know, at AAA, and, and we haven't seen that um, because he hasn't had the opportunity to do it. So I would say that's not an immediate option. That's not something we, we would rely on. We have a couple of options. One, we can go with what we have. <laughs> We've been waiting all season for you know, one or two of those players to, to ignite, and that hasn't happened. Um, <clears throat> and we can, as a second option, we can pursue somebody internally, which at this point would most likely be, you know, an Alvarez, maybe a Beatty maybe a Vientos, um, <clears throat> but that's not something we want to rely on either. I mean, that's, that's not a fail safe option. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and the third is to acquire somebody outside. And um, look, it's, you know, it's fairly obvious who the DH candidates are. Um, there are a handful of them and they're, you know, and they're uh, pretty easily, to, easy to identify. So, you know, in evaluating what it ought to cost to acquire those players, you know, part of it is analyzing the market. Who else is looking for a DH?